Hello, this is Daniel, and I will be going over a quick little thing to do when you've screwed up an ocarina, but you want to save the clay. Now, this ocarina is obviously pretty well along being finished, and it didn't end up sounding right. The whole time I was making it didn't sound very well. It didn't sound very good, so I kind of knew it was going to break when I added the last hole. Uh, it's broken beyond fix. And I want to save the clay. There you. Oh my, this is well along. Uh, break it. Uh, there you go. I just killed an ocarina. All right, now it's. Now you can just squish it and start over, but the clay is too dry to do that. It's all falling apart in chunks. I, I'll try to mold it into a little ocarina shape. Mold into a little ocarina shape. Oop! There goes another chunk. All right, now what? to do about this is get all the clay together and get a big empty tub of big empty tub and fill it with water not completely with water all right so you're probably gonna want to put the little clay in first before the water you break this camera does not not focus very well all right you want to break it up into little pieces so then it can soak in with the water better this actually isn't as full as it looks. I haven't cleaned this in a while. There's too much clay in it. Alright, so what you do is you break it apart. Like so. Uh, let's get that in there. The last chunk. Then you add a little bit of water. Just enough so it kind of fills up the clay. Might have added a little too much water, but that's okay. And then you let that sit for, oh, I'd say about a week, depending on how much clay you have. Ugh. And then if you get it too wet, you're going to want to put it in a bowl like this. Take the wet clay out, it's going to be very messy. You're going to want to put it in a bowl like this. See how this is all wet and sticky and covering my fingers? So you let this sit out for, oh, maybe half a day, maybe half a day, a day, half a day depending on how much clay you have. And then, once the top has started to dry, you flip that over, let this top dry, let the wet part dry, flip it over again, let that dry, until it's back to the point where you can mold it without it sticking to your fingers, and where it's not too dry to the point where it cracks when you try to mold it. Just a little tip to save your clay. The clay is not very expensive, so if you break a tiny ocarina, like say one, uh, a little smaller than this, it's not going to matter. But I do like to get every cent out of what I paid for with this clay, so I save as much as I can. Especially if you're making a base ocarina, and those do not come out well a lot of the time. Especially, or when you're trying to make a six-hole ocarina, those I have the most trouble with. Next to ten holes. Oh. Or at least ten whole inlines. I hate those. I hate those. I only made one. I only made one for a reason. But yeah, six hole ocarinas are really hard to make. And base ocarinas. So if you screw it up, but you want to save the clay, that's something you can do right there. Well, that's just a little little tip for your ocarina making. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and that is all. Until next time, I really need to finish this one.